being a soldier, it came naturally to this stuff. You know, not so much. But there is one thing I'm good at. What's that? Kicking ass. Dave Batista is a famous American actor and producer as well as a successful wrestler in the past. In this video, we will tell you about our hero's difficult childhood and prove that it is never too late to change yourself and your life for the better. How Dave Batista Lives and How Much He Earns David Michael Batista was born on January 18, 1969 in Washington, D.C. to a poor immigrant family. His mother, Donna, is Greek by nationality, and his father, David Michael Sr., has Filipino roots. In addition to our hero, the family also had the youngest daughter, Donna. Batista's parents' marriage couldn't be called happy. The boy's father, who was simply not ready to take on said responsibility, divorced his wife before Dave even went to school. Years later, Batista's mother realized she was a lesbian, and the public learned this in 2016. As a child, Batista was diagnosed with dyslexia, a disorder that makes it hard to master reading and writing skills. After becoming an actor, Dave can't always understand the scripts he reads. In addition, Dave had asthma since birth, but over time, he gained some control over the disease. The future celebrity's childhood was spent in one of the poorest and most crime-filled areas of the city. Even before our hero turns 10 years old, Three murders took place on the front lawn of his house, and once a man died in the boy's arms because Dave and his friends simply didn't have time to call an ambulance. This event was the last straw for his mother, and she moved with the children to San Francisco. Moving to another city didn't change the family's financial situation, but it gave them greater security. However, this didn't save Dave from bad influences. In his adolescence, he turned to illegal activities, becoming a member of a criminal gang engaged in thefts. At the young age of 13, Batista stole his first car. Our hero had not only a strong character, but also an outstanding body size, thanks to which he managed to become the criminal gang's leader. When one day, some hooligans came to Dave's house to beat him up, his mother decided to send her son to live with his father. There, his rebellious nature manifested itself in noisy parties hosted at his parents' house. At school, Batista was not a diligent student and often skipped classes, but he liked wrestling classes, especially because of the coach who taught the young man discipline and respect. At school, our hero also tried to play American football and dreamed of becoming a breakdancer. In seventh grade, Dave fell in love for the first time. It was a typical love story of a bully and a straight-A student. The girl's name was Susan, and she was a year older than Batista. So she left for college before him. After that, Dave's behavior got worse. He was first banned from attending sports classes and then expelled. In an interview, our hero admitted that one of the biggest regrets in his life is that he never received a secondary education. At the same time, Batista Sr. married for the second time, and Dave's half-brother, Michael, was born from this marriage. But with the new family in the house, there was no longer a place for a troubled guy like him. And at 17, Dave started to live independently. To earn money for housing, he got a job as a bouncer in a nightclub but he would constantly get into trouble with the police. He was detained several times for fighting and drugs. Once, while breaking up two violent patrons, the hot-headed Dave overdid it. He inflicted severe injuries on one of them and rendered unconscious the other one for several days. So, the future actor lost his job, on top of a criminal case against him. But thanks to the lawyer, he managed to get a minimum sentence of one year probation. This event forced our hero to seriously rethink his life and find another way to curb his strength and emotions. His choice fell on bodybuilding. The very next day, Dave got a job as a beach lifeguard and began spending all his free time in the gym. In 1990, 21-year-old David got married for the first time. His new wife was a Filipino girl named Glenda. 
Batista met his lover in his youth, and they lived in a civil marriage for a year before the wedding. In the same year, Glenda gave birth to the future wrestler's daughter, Kehlani, and two years later, another daughter, Athena. The marriage did not last long, and in 1998, the couple officially divorced. Six months after the divorce, Dave got married for the second time. His wife was a woman named Angie, and their relationship started thanks to their mutual passion for bodybuilding. In the late 1990s, Batista decided to take up wrestling, which would guarantee him a comfortable life. According to Dave, he made this decision after he felt ashamed when he had to borrow money from a colleague to buy Christmas gifts for his children. Initially, the man turned to the WCW power plant, but Buddy Lee Parker, the coach conducting the selection, refused Dave and said that he would never make it in the wrestling business. This angered our hero, and he decided to go to their competitor, WWE. The organization managers sent Batista to a training center, after which they allowed him to show off his abilities in an exhibition fight that took place on October 30, 1999, where the wrestler performed under the name Khan. The judges liked the assertive and powerful Dave, and by early 2000, the WWE wrestling promotion would have signed a contract with the 30-year-old Batista. Initially, the organization sent the man to the farm club OVW, where he trained and successfully performed under the name Leviathan for two years. He even managed to win the OVW heavyweight title but then lost the belt to John Cena. In 2002, the wrestler was transferred to the main roster, where he began performing under his real name, Batista. On May 9th of the same year, he made his debut in the TV show SmackDown. Soon, Dave signed a contract with another major WWE brand, Raw, and after several victories, started attracting the public's attention. In January 2003, Batista joined a new group of four wrestling stars called Evolution, which included Paul Michael Levesque performing as Triple H, Ric Flair, and Randy Orton, but almost immediately left due to a muscle injury. The wrestler returned to the ring six months later, immediately winning a victory and a prize of $100,000, earning the nickname Animal. According to the results of Armageddon, a wrestling show in 2003, Batista and Ric Flair became the World Tag Team Champions, and gradually our hero began to come out of his colleague's shadow. Triple H saw Batista as a threat to his world heavyweight title, and their relationship began to deteriorate. Even though the wrestlers continued to be on evolution and help each other in matches, Triple H made every attempt to dissuade Batista from participating in the 2005 Battle Royale. However, Dave didn't listen to him and won the battle, earning the right to be in the main event of WrestleMania 21. There, Batista met Triple H in the ring and won becoming the new heavyweight world champion. A record number of viewers watched that fight, and sports journalists called it the peak of one of the best WWE storylines in recent years. Later, Triple H lost twice more to Batista, trying to take revenge. Our hero had to give up the champion title when during one of the matches, he received another muscle injury which made him step down from further matches. Six months later, Batista returned to the ring and performed on the show SmackDown. He had to participate in many fights before he regained the heavyweight title, defeating the reigning champion King Booker in November 2006. During those years, wrestling brought our hero more than $800,000 annually. At the same time, Batista decided to try his hand as an actor. In 2006, he starred in the comedy Relative Strangers, where he played a cameo role as a wrestler and also appeared in an episode of the science fiction series about Superman, Smallville. There were also changes in his personal life at that time. After eight years of marriage, Dave divorced his wife, Angie. Over the years of living together, the lovers went through a lot. In 2002, Angie was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and our hero fully supported his wife, but the marriage still broke up. According to rumors, the reason for their breakup was Batista's flirting with former Playboy model and wrestler diva Rebecca DiPietro. Nevertheless, Dave and Angie maintained a warm relationship. Already after the divorce in 2007, they had a son, Oliver, via IVF, whom the former spouses called a miracle child. 
They say that their decision to become parents was prompted by Dave's work on his autobiography. The book was published in the same 2007 under the title Batista Unleashed. Meanwhile, the wrestler's career was ambiguous. For participating in WrestleMania 23, Batista received half a million dollars, teamed up with John Cena and made progress in their teamwork, but he couldn't maintain his personal title. In April 2007, he lost the championship match and The Undertaker took his place. Six months later, after multiple fights, Dave became the new heavyweight champion of the world in the triple threat match. However, three months later, in a fight of the same format, he lost the championship to a wrestler named Edge. Batista managed to regain the title in 2008, but not for long, only for eight days. Then, our hero suffered a neck and hamstring injury, which led to a pause in his career. At the time, Dave starred in the action-packed film My Son, My Son, What Have Ye Done? and in an episode of the Australian TV series Neighbors. In 2009, Batista returned to the ring in the show Extreme Rules in a fight inside an iron cage defeating Randy Orton. He became the WWE Champion for the first time, but a few days later, this title became vacant as Dave injured his left bicep. The next year, our hero defeated John Cena and became the WWE Champion for the second time, although a month later in a rematch, Batista lost the championship to the same Cena. However, the subsequent fights with him ended in defeats for Dave and were also accompanied by injuries. These failures, as well as a conflict with Bret Hart, the general manager of the organization, led to Batista announcing his departure from WWE, saying, I quit. By that time, his income from the wrestling show was about $1 million. In the same 2010, Dave starred in an episode of the TV series Chuck and in the thriller Wrong Side of Town. And the following year, he played the main role in the action movie House of the Rising Sun where he appeared in the image of an ex-policeman trying to start a new life. You work here, don't you? That I do. It's the blue Z4. No thanks, got my own ride. In 2012, the wrestler decided to try his luck in mixed martial arts competitions. In the first match against Vince Lucero, Batista won by knockout. However, after that, he decided not to participate in MMA fights anymore, considering it boring. At the same time, Dave played a powerful and clumsy warrior in the fantasy film The Scorpion King 3, Battle for Redemption, and appeared in the action movie The Man with the Iron Fists. And the following year, he starred in the film Riddick, where his partner on the set was Vin Diesel. So what's a bounty at? I don't know. I don't care. It's not why I'm here. I bet the big Jim Oak knows. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. At the end of 2013, Batista announced his return to the ring, and indeed, in January 2014, the wrestler took part in the Battle Royale, winning it for the second time in his career. However, he failed to win the title of world champion and soon left wrestling again to focus on filming. In the summer of the same year, the premiere of the fantastic film Guardians of the Galaxy took place, in which Dave played the role of Drax the Destroyer, a warrior who is eager to take revenge for the loss of his family. You saved Quill. We've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago! No, I wasn't listening. I was thinking of something else. Oh. To create the familiar image of Drax, a team of five people worked on him and it took four hours to apply his makeup every day. Dave collectively spent about seven days in the hands of makeup artists. In an interview, the actor admitted that it made him uncomfortable not only during filming but also after as his skin was very itchy and flaky. However, their efforts were not in vain. The film received high critical acclaim and was nominated for an Oscar in two categories, including makeup and hairstyles. Batista's paycheck for Guardians of the Galaxy was $1.4 million. By the way, our hero admitted that this role was a turning point in his life because he was going through tough times. Dave was deep in debt and had to sell the house, but thanks to an impressive payout, he managed to improve his financial situation. He even revealed that when he learned about this offer, he cried with happiness. By the way, Batista is a sensitive and kind person. For example, once he sheltered and cured a puppy who was cruelly treated. Meanwhile, Dave's personal life has improved too. 
In 2015, he tied the knot with a professional pole dancer named Sarah Jane, who is 18 years younger than him. Before meeting Sarah, the man was rumored to have short-term relationships with several wrestling divas, Melina Perez, Barbie Blank, and Rosa Mendez. In 2015, Batista voiced the character in the animated series Trip Tank and also starred in the films L.A. Slasher, Heist, and Spectre, where he played the role of Mr. Hinks, which brought him $1 million. Daniel Craig, the actor playing James Bond in that film, told an interesting story from the movie set. During the staging of a fight, he hit Dave's nose, and hearing an unpleasant crunch, ran off from the wrestler and out of harm's way. But Dave only laughed and fixed his nose on his own. In 2016, he then acted in more films like The Boss, Marauders, Kickboxer Vengeance, and The Warrior's Gate. The following year, Batista played one of the main roles in the action movie Bushwick, where he acted as an executive producer for the first time. He also appeared in the fantasy film Blade Runner 2049, where his partners on the set were Ryan Gosling, Harrison Ford, and Anna de Armas. Where were you? Atlanta? Must have been brutal. I know I'm taking me here. Um, take a look inside. Batista also starred in the sequel of Guardians of the Galaxy. By that time, the makeup artist had gotten the hang of it, and instead of four hours, it only took an hour and a half to apply the makeup. Although, after each shooting day, Dave would go to the sauna because that was the only way to take off the makeup. This time, his paycheck was estimated at $3 million. In 2018, Batista acted in films such as Hotel Artemis, Escape Plan 2, Hades, Master Z, Yip Man Legacy, Final Score, and Avengers Infinity War, in which he again appeared as Drax the Destroyer, receiving a payout of about $4 million. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. I'm sure I'm invisible. Hi, Drax. In 2019, the actor again had to suffer under layers of makeup in the sequel Avengers Endgame, which earned him another $4 million. He also starred in the TV series What We Do in the Shadows, in the crime comedy Stuber, and in the action movie Escape Plan – The Extractors, where his partners on the set were Sylvester Stallone and 50 Cent. There you go. Couldn't do this without you, man. Sorry about Abby. Set it straight. In the same year, Batista made a grandiose return to the ring. On the show WrestleMania 35, he appeared as a villain in a fight without rules against Triple H. Then he was defeated and announced his retirement as a wrestler. Meanwhile, changes have taken place in Dave's personal life. At the beginning of 2019, he broke up with his third wife, Sarah, but it's unknown whether they officially divorced. The exes did not grieve for a long time, and soon both of them started new relationships. As for Batista, he had an affair with wrestler diva Dana Brooke, although soon their feelings faded and the athletes remained just friends. In 2020, Dave starred in an episode of the TV series Room 104 and in the comedy thriller My Spy, where he played the role of a CIA agent controlled by a nine-year-old girl. Make it look like an accident. Yeah, maybe the stairs. What? Wow, still recording. In 2021, the actor played Scott Ward in the horror film Army of the Dead. For that role, he refused to participate in the Suicide Squad. By the way, at one time, Batista really wanted to star in the TV series The Walking Dead and was even ready to do it for free, but the directors tactfully refused, since from a physiological point of view, the dead cannot be so bulky. In the same year, Dave played a role in the science fiction series C and also starred in the acclaimed film Dune, for which he received $2 million. The last of our ships have left Arrakis. It's done. In 2022, Batista reprised his role as Drax the Destroyer in the film Thor Love and Thunder, and the Christmas short The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special gave his voice to a character in the animated series Little Demon and played in the detective film Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Crew! We've arrived! Nowadays, the actor continues to work in films. Recently, the thriller Knock at the Cabin was released, starring Dave Bautista and Rupert Grint.
This year, the actor will delight his fans with films Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, Dune Part 2, and In the Lost Lands. Also, the films My Spy 2 and Universe's Most Wanted are currently in the preparation stage. Dave will also act as a producer. To date, the celebrity's fortune is estimated at $16 million, which includes royalties for films and advertising contracts. At one time, Dave starred in advertisements for Smirnoff's drinks, mortgage loans by Rocket Mortgage, Disney streaming services, and even in a campaign video in support of Joe Biden. Batista pays special attention to charity. For example, in 2018, he donated $1 million to Give Peace to Children Foundation. He also transfers money to cancer research and to cancer support organizations. Batista currently lives in Port Tampa, Florida. The house has an area of 4,000 square feet and includes three bedrooms, four bathrooms, several spacious living rooms, a modern kitchen, a dining room, and a cozy patio. Dave moved into this mansion in 2014, and before that, he had to live Lutz, Florida for 10 years. The celebrity has a huge passion for cars. His luxury collection includes models such as Lamborghini Murcielago worth $220,000, Bentley Continental GT for $173,000, and Porsche Cayenne for $128,000, as well as other magnificent cars like Mercedes CLS 500, Hummer H2, BMW 7 Series, Range Rover, Jaguar CX-75, Land Rover Defender, and Mercedes G-Class. In Dave's collection, there are also extravagant models like Pontiac Trans Am and Chevrolet Impala, several motorcycles, and even a golf cart. Today's hero has achieved success in both wrestling and in the film industry. And do you like Dave as a wrestler or an actor more? If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.